Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. We're going to teach you how to do scalp brush therapy today. So uh, when we do diagnosis, um, if we've got scalp scale and some scalp conditions, we can use brush therapy, but this is not for everyone. So, you know, this is more of a lesson if we've said that you need it. So we choose um, a special scalp brush, okay? So we want to make sure that our bristles are nice and bendy because most of our clients have got hair loss, so we're not we're going to pull the hair out. We want to make sure that the bristles have these little nodes on them. The nodes are attached so they can't come off and they're nice and rounded and they're not sharp, okay? So you can always test your brush on the back of your hand. If it scratches, it's not suitable for your scalp. We've got this nice cushion at the base of the brush as well because we're going to be working on the scalp, so we need to have a bit of a shock absorber. And it's a really good size as well. So this is the scalp brush that uh, we like to use. Okay, we're going to do a demonstration for you today. So we'll get our model to come in. Okay, so using the brush therapy, we're going to divide the head in half. Okay, so um, we've got um, ear to ear. We're going to work on the front half first and the back half second. We always detangle the longer hair first. So this is a beautiful hairbrush as well. So you can see um, Vanessa here is detangling her hair. And again, we're always being really gentle and careful not to pull any hair out. Okay, so then we're going to start working on the scalp. So we've got this motion on the scalp and we're just going to work from ear to ear. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is exfoliation of the dead skin and the scale on the scalp. You know, we're trying to get um, stimulation. So there's a little oil gland attached to every single hair follicle. And a lot of that uh, oil, a lot of people have an oily scalp or oily hair and we have uh, follicle blocks that happen as well. So we're brushing on the hair, it triggers the muscle that's there. The muscle goes down to the blood supply, so we're gonna get some circulation, so we're bringing up some oxygen and energy. A lot of the time we're doing nutritional therapy at the same time. So it's exfoliation, circulation, and stimulation. That's what we're trying to do with the brush therapy. So we're trying to get everything off the scalp, um, getting lifting it up. Um, off the scalp. Okay, so we're doing the brush therapy to get it up off and then we're going to go and wash it away. Now we only do the brush therapy if we're going to wash the scalp with a scalp cleanser. This is not something you use for a hair shampoo and you would never do the brush therapy and just leave that sit back on the scalp because everything we've brought up Okay, will absorb back in, it will make you itchy. So this is a pre-scalp cleansing only. So we've done 50 strokes at the front Okay, and we can see Vanessa's gone head upside down to do the back. It's much easier. And you can see she's always using two hands. With longer hair, you need to use the two hands. One's for the brush. The other one is to catch the hair. So it's 50 strokes at the front, 50 strokes at the back. Thank you very much. So you might feel some symptoms here. So some people will feel a slight tingling sensation because we're triggering the muscle. Some people will feel um, some heat coming off the scalp, so that's from the circulation. Some people, the scalp might be a little bit um, flushed, and a lot of people feel the oil coming out, which is a fantastic thing, because we want it up and out, so we can wash it away. Some people feel nothing, so all I ask is 50 strokes at the front and 50 strokes at the back with your scalp brush therapy. Thanks.